Hi, I'm Tony Abbott, and I want to tell you about my new series, The Haunting of Derek Stone. Derek Stone is a teenager. Uh, he is a regular kid, and something amazing and bizarre happens to him. He's with his father, his older brother Ronnie, on a train, and the train crashes. Derek is in grief. He can't understand what's happened. His entire family has been taken away from him in a single flash. Weeks later, Derek is at home in, in New Orleans, Louisiana, where he lives. His uncle Carl has come to stay with him. And one day, the doorbell rings. He rushes to answer it. And standing in the doorway is his brother Ronnie, who's been dead for four weeks. That's the beginning of The Haunting of Derek Stone. My favorite character in The Haunting of Derek Stone is, guess who? Derek Stone. Derek is different from just about any other character I've written. Derek is, um, well, he was like I was. He was overweight. He is overweight. He is uh, a little bit shy. He is, unlike I was, a very, very smart boy. He reads everything. He is very, very intelligent, um, but he doesn't have a lot of friends. And um, I like that. I like the position that Derek is starting from. From the moment the books take off, from the moment the story begins, Derek is on the run. And what happens to Derek, this sort of shy, stay-at-home, uh, reading books kind of boy, when he realizes that in order to save his life, he's got to run and he's got to run fast. Uh, I love seeing the changes that, that are happening to Derek. So he's, he's actually my favorite character. I guess every writer has some tricks, some things they do to help them write, because sometimes it's just not an easy thing to do. I always carry a notebook with me when I'm not at my desk. My desk is my absolutely favorite place to be. I love being surrounded by paper and by books and the things that inspire me. But sometimes you're out in the world and an idea comes to you and you need to, to, to keep it with you. You need to remember it. So I remember it by jotting it down into a little notebook and when I get back to my desk then I flesh it out. Uh, there are a couple other things too which I've I've learned actually work because I get a lot of mail from readers and they say things like, you know what, uh, when I'm reading one of your stories I feel as if I'm in the actual place that the characters are in and that's so important to me and that's how I feel when I'm writing it. I, I try to put myself in there and try to bring readers in there into the story with me. It's a series that is going to take you in many places. You're going to grow with Derek. You're going to discover the things that he does as he discovers them. You're going to be shocked, surprised, amazed at what Derek goes through, the things that he learns, and his central part in this enormous, enormous story. The Haunting of Derek Stone. Don't miss it.